clap us in. See if this works. It won't. I'm going to clap in front this time. In front of it. Catch you, Cody. Three, two, one. It was Anybody? a thing. It was a thing. It was a thing. It was a thing. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We're here. We're here. We're doing another video. Doing it's, another it's a, video. It's a, listen, it's a very lazy day. It's a Wednesday. It's my day off. So it's resting. Day. Y'all apparently know aren't feeling the greatest today. No, see, this, I never episode, feel good. Okay. this episode is brought to you by Treecom. See, the trees in Tampa have jizzed all over the place. Shake it. <gasps> and even those who are not usually mm. susceptible to feeling the ailments of pollen are feeling the pollen. This episode is also brought to you by Mucinex Fast Mat. Oh. Ah. Uh, Give me the, the money. It's go. also brought to you by Ricola. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And of course, viewers like you. Hello and welcome. Hi. Okay. To a very nasally laid back, chill episode of Ma'am celebrating. Hey guys, National Women's Day. Let's give it up for the ladies. That's right. Is it? All right. Hey, get get this though. Get this. Politicians and people who run cities are so sexist that instead of just being like, we don't want a million trees repollinating and going all over the place right so we're only going to do one gender of tree right we're going to do only the male hence why cody has allergies right now yep they oh, wouldn't even put, are, they wouldn't even put the female trees because guess what female trees don't jizz all over the place okay it would have been perfect yeah. everyone would have had shade no jizz Listen, according to YouTube everywhere. analytics, <laughs> our, our female audience is a whole 4.7 of our total audience. So, yeah. hey, ladies, look at you Listen, fuck you, men. Okay. Hey, dude, Get we're, out doing, of here. we're doing better than I'd say most of streamers. Hey, I bet we have a higher uh, female watch uh, amount than Joe Rogan show. You, you know? Actually. You'd be surprised. Probably not, because I don't want to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. Oh, Dude, I, what are we like after after all of this time? I am curious who still listens to Joe Rogan. A bunch of people. Like, well, I know, I, I know a I bunch know. of people, but also, but like the I, I don't has, meet has worn off. It, Guys, like that, good news. Like it's it's not. Did we win? Did we win? No, on Anchor, uh, on, on Anchor. Spotify. Yes, uh-huh. we have a ele- we have eleven percent of female. That's right. Ooh, double digits. That's right. Over 10%. Really? Ninja is not allowed here. We actually like ladies. That's right. I don't understand what you mean by you're trying to get more ladies involved. Get out of here, <laughs> dudes. Get out of here, Tyler Ninja Blevins. We don't need you. That's right. We, you dork. Gamers. Pokemane, come on over. Come hang out with us. Bonjour. Guys, he dyed his hair blue because his audience saw it'd be cool. Um, and that's how you that's become it. a better streamer. Oh, is that is that what he we gets have beat to by do? ten year olds in Fortnite every fucking day? I don't care. Well, in, in honor of National Women's Day, even though it won't be uh, when you watch this when it comes out, <laughs> just you know, live proactively, vicariously through us right now in this moment. Yep, we're doing Back. Treasures, Sex and Sacks, the brand new album from this little Russian band that you may or may not have heard of. I had no idea they were Russian. Yeah, now they that are I, from. I'm Saint learning Petersburg. so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Florida. Yeah, St. Pete. Nope. Hell yeah, dude. Other one. Uh, <laughs> the I mean, they're probably like the same place at this point. Fascist. <laughs> so. It looks great near the water, though. <laughs> yeah. It sure do. Don't turn, don't turn around. Don't turn around. <laughs> so, yeah, this uh, this band has cropped up in recent years, um, largely by their use of being a little progressive, being a little metal, but also, mm, like the title suggests, saxophone all over the place saxophone. that's definitely the gimmick that was 100%, it. the Love gimmick it. yeah because like when you first listen to them you're like okay this is kind of like intervals or a little bit like polyphia's older Volumes. stuff right it's a little bit of that kind of kind of like a little bit genty a little bit proggy they also didn't just really have bit. vocals that much they were just an instrumental band yeah you know back and then. i think yeah and i think you know, the gimmick is the saxophone. It separates them from the other groups um, that kind of do that kind of instrumental prog stuff. But I, I kind of like the vocals. I, I think it, it's I needed it. with, a, with a group like this. And yeah. also, obviously, having a saxophone, it's tasteful and it's good in this. There's a lot of saxophone that's not very good in music. 
and it's kind of overplayed a little bit sometimes. But in this particular band, I dig it. I dig it a lot. I dig it too, in this band and in other bands. And thank you, Josh, for the question of the day, which is, guys, audience, also, hey, everyone sub and all that stuff. If we've made you laugh, you're legally obligated to hit the sub button. That's okay? right. If you really want to laugh, go watch last week's episode. Oh, yes. boy. Yes. Unhinged. Yep. Unhinged. That was wild. Something yeah. happened. <laughs> I, I feel like our energy, we're still there. Yeah. We're trying to get it back. <laughs> we used it all. Our bandwidth we're, is gone. All of it's there. Yeah. All of it's it was so episode. unhinged, Joe. It was so unhinged. <laughs> we had to put the wall back on, and now there's singes on there again. So... Anyway, hey, question of the day. <laughs> Audience, you guys, what is your uh, favorite band and or track? Any, mm. any depiction of saxophone that you think is worth discussing. Okay. That's for All the right. question of the day. Okay. All right. Hey, Josh, what uh, thing depicting saxophone do you think is worth discussing? Okay, so I have two two groups, okay? okay. okay. One, classic, The Midnight, right? Synthwave group. Uh, the song Days of Thunder has a solid, solid saxophone part. But they're kind of, I think they might be Scottish or Irish or maybe even English. Somewhere over there. Okay. <laughs> they're uh, one of them. Some one of them over there. Um, not Wales, though. That's for sure. Uh, um, <laughs> but uh, they have they do uh, saxophone all the time because I guess Synthwave likes saxophone. That's just kind of their thing. Um, but me. I discovered a group, more like an artist, on TikTok. His name's Starletta. Okay. And he kind of does like modern takes on synth wave or modern modern takes on like that synth pop stuff. And uh his song called Forever Blue, solid. <laughs> solid saxophone solo. I'm pretty sure it was probably written on a MIDI, and that's totally fine. But it still rips, and it's still cool. So that, those are my two, for sure. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Brett, what about you? Well, I'm going to go with the only one I can think of off the top of my head, and that's Chunk. This one came out of left field, and it kind of reminds me of like the the theme song from uh, Full House. If there's a if, <laughs> yeah, kind of feels like that. You, <laughs> you, know, that's what it, <laughs> you know how you play a saxophone. Uh, so yeah, you might expect me to say Bill Murray. I feel like that's an easy one. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I was gonna go Bill Murray, I'd have to go with the very first one that I heard with a saxophone on it, which is Life is Good off of Wet Milk. Really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Really opened up the whole idea of, hey, let's throw saxophones into breakdowns. That could be a lot of fun. That could be cool. Yep. And a yeah, lot yeah. of people are doing that now. You mm -hmm. got Periphery with their new song, having a whole jazz elevator music break. It is awesome. You got, didn't Polyphia have a fucking saxophone on one of the songs on I, the new well, album? They had to have. How are they not? I don't know. I know they have the trumpet at the end of. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. The of God Ego Death. Death. Or, or Ego Death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. 
But <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go Chill. a little. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go a little off kilter, and okay. I got I gotta go with my dude. Uh, hold on, let me make sure I'm getting the name right. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Mr. Jeff Coffin, the saxophonist for one Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones, and also for at least the past like decade or so, the saxophonist in Dave Matthews, Matthews and his band. wonderful uh... band. I gotta go with Jeff. Mm-hmm. He's he's the one, he's the first person I ever saw play saxophone. I'm like, oh, this instrument could be cool. What? <laughs> he's playing yeah. two at once. It's insane. Um, <laughs> and then I got a saxophone, or, you know, as a kid. And then in two weeks, it was gone. Stand, it's gone. Never saw it again because I guess me at the age of like 10 or something was supposed to get lessons myself or, or, or whatever but because i wasn't playing it they gave it to our neighbor oh never saw it again oh that's how yeah. that's to, how this borrow. work that's that's I'm called like, uh, childhood uh, trauma right there yeah yeah got a lot of it <laughs> <laughs> how much time you got <laughs> this is I a four-hour podcast. Listen, I got a couch right there. We can really get some, uh, we can really get deep into it. You know, probably need it. Losing it. I'm smiling. Yeah, but that costs the light money. Light inside is dying. That costs money, right? How much you charge? Come on, chat. More. Haha! Yeah. <laughs> 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 help. Anywho, so yeah, let us know your favorite I'm saxophone. In danger. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, let us know your favorite saxophone song and or band in the comments below or wherever the comments are on Spotify. I haven't figured that one out yet, but they're there. As 14 tracks coming in at 47 minutes and one second, the performers were, are y'all ready for me to butcher a bunch of Russian names? Do it. Do it. Do it. God damn it. Mark Mironov. On the okay. drums and vocals. Not He's the bad. one who does all the screams. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Brett, you're going to have to put this one on the screen so we can follow along at home. Vyacheslav, a.k.a. Choco Slayik, uh, Ka- uh-huh. Kavlenas. Kavlenas. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. On the guitar. Vitaly, got that one. Molokanov on rhythm right. guitar. Okay. okay. Artem Sabichev. Sabichev on saxophone. All right. And then uh, let's change hemispheres. Diego Silva Malaga. Ma- Malaga? Malaga? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just got to say it three All times. Right. <laughs> it makes sense. On the vocals. It has a bunch of features. Kaito Naga. Oh, damn. Ha- Nagai. Josh. Kaito Nagai. Nagai. Yeah. Nagai. Kaito Nagai from Pale Dusk on Tabadashi. Adam <laughs> Bentley from Arch Echo. Love nice. him. He's from Tampa uh, on Gambit. Uh, Tampa Michael Tampa. Barr. From volumes on Libertad, uh, Lucas Libertad. Magyar uh, from Vela Maya on Demore. Okay, okay. Slicky D, for fuck's sake, who's a rapper, and C dollar sign L, aka Run Cameron Losh from Born of Osiris, the drummer. See money. money. The on drummer. Pornhub, the drummer. He decided he wanted to be a rapper. I it's think the worst need song to keep on the album. Holy shit! Yeah. Um, yeah. That useless song. C J McMahon from mm-hmm. Thy Art Is Murder mm. on UVB seventy six. Okay. And that's all the features. The production were uh, one guy. His name is Roman Karukchov. He's done okay. all of Shredders and he. Brett, look up Galleons because it was a. I know Galleons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we we saw that we have one of their songs on breaking down the break is it like the one like, with like the fox on it yes it's that yeah, one. he yeah, produced yeah, that yeah. album okay that's yep. the one right there yeah the fire one yep. or no it's not a fox or is it a fox there's a fox on there i think or is it just fox very person. similar oh fox person fox person okay we'll go with fox person yeah sure a little where where fox 
Anyway, good, okay. Good album. Yeah, he, Which is uh, cra- he, it's crazy because the album sounds really good. And if it's only one dude doing it, that's crazy. Dude, yeah, he did that. He it, did the mixing. He did the I have master, a lot of questions of about this album. The more I hear about it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then these <laughs> singles. Russian were, Plant. Good, good news. We're going to get there. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the singles were Phoenix. The more I'm taking fire from your life again. Who said that we would never be nothing for you, for the lonely ones, for the ones that tried and tried and got still a fucking ride. Crying at your door. UVB seventy six. Libertad I guess recently tempered temperature uh, that one Even though I didn't see it on YouTube, but I saw it on Wikipedia. Which, okay, yeah, let's get into it. This band had a Wikipedia page with a lot of information. I thought going into this, I was going to have to... I started early. I started last week getting all the really? info because I was like, this is going to take fucking forever. No. Right. Kingdom of Giants can't get a Wiki- Wikipedia page, but Treasures can. <laughs> Ricola! <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, all right, here. <sighs> So I have more. I have, the more I hear and and learn about this album, the more I have questions. In the sense of, first of all, you're telling me that some like crypto based shit is recorded. Yeah, this, this, is, thing. this is state sponsored metal, three thousand miles away, <laughs> that we're not even supposed to be communicating with technically, as far as I'm aware. And then, and then like who? One dude did all of it. Yep. Putin. From where? Putin did it. From yeah. Russia. <laughs> <laughs> like what? I am so This is confused. how they get in. This is how they, they get the, the metal bros to to believe in KGB. That's what it is. Yep, that's what it is right there. And We're going to turn working. your drummers into rappers, and you guys are going to love right. us. Right. <laughs> no, I think he did that on his own. Oh, man. I, you know what? Uh, I'll, let, I'll give him that weird. excuse if he wants it. That was bad. Uh, yeah, not great. Um. Yeah. <laughs> that so yeah let's, talk, let's, let's talk about it. Where do you want to start? Yeah, like, I, I kind of agree with you, Brett. Like, they're a weird band, and they kind of just appeared out of nowhere. I think, like, the first time we listened to them, uh, the song Noodles, I think yep. we had it on Breaking mm-hmm. Down the Breakdown. Yep. And I was like, damn, the music sounds great, and the video quality is so good. And it's them walking around Japan at night, and it's freaking cool. That there was something was... about it that was special. but that was That was really cool. That was their last song to feature their original vocalist sam arag oh. so yeah I, I think you might have just heard instrumental tracks they've always had uh vocals in it okay yeah because yeah. i remember when yeah when we did find them like most of the stuff we were listening to was instrumental from them mm-hmm. but yeah. they were holding an online contest for fans to sing a cover of one of their songs just you know saying hey when winners are going to get some merch and stuff but in reality it was a competition to see who would be the new singer, unbeknownst uh, to those uh, applying. 
that's, that's cool. how wow. Diego wow. came about. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, yeah that's interesting. I don't know. They're cool. I like them. They're. I love they're like kind of. They kind of fit into like that meme band space. So kind of mm-hmm. like a Bill Murray thing. Mm. Kind of like a Electric, electric Call Boy. Boy. Yeah, but then because I was kind of apprehensive getting into it, I was like, "How many more of these kind of bands do we need?" Because like I kind of have a space for that type of stuff, mm-hmm. and those are the bands I want to listen to. I don't want to keep adding more memes to my bands list and. Yeah. Getting into this, I was like, man, I really like Noodles, so I'll give it a better shot. Listen to this album. Damn. There's some cool stuff in here. And it stands on its own. And it's really not just the memes, right? Although, looking at the track list, sometimes it's in there. And it doesn't really need to be. Yeah. And I think that's just like the thing they have to do because they have solidified themselves as a weird, weird band. But I think with their skill, musicianship, um overall vibe it, it works for them i think i don't know i i really enjoyed it i i sent in the discord i was like you know this, this album's pretty pretty good pretty good pretty good and i don't give a lot of good scores i usually are pretty critical about a lot of stuff on this show mm-hmm. i couldn't really find something that i genuinely hated except for that one song we'll get to it i, I want to yeah. focus purely <laughs> on the one song right i want to get all the other stuff out of the way gotcha. uh yeah, yeah no the, the all over the place Fucking, uh-huh. it's very, it's, it's, it's makes sense consistent. that Arch Echo's on here, <laughs> you know? Right, right, right. It's very weird, but all in, in the ways I like it. It's very uh, mm-hmm. heavy in the ways I like it. The vocals mm-hmm. are very done very well. Love the melodies. Um, love the sax. Love the sax. Awesome. Yeah, I was expecting it, a gimmick, and it really wasn't. No, it's done so beautifully. Yeah. You know? Um, and yeah, it, you mentioned all the the meme bands like the Bill Murrays, the We Butter the Bread with Butter, right? Whatever. Yeah, and th- those all have their own spots. I think this one occupies, in that same sense, the more polyphia, the more yeah. Archeco in- in- intervals. Yeah, Archeco. Mm-hmm. Right. It just so happens that there's a saxophonist and a vocalist, so it kind of separates them just a little bit, <laughs> just enough for them to have their own thing. That's why I was I keep saying it, like having a saxophone. In a metal band, yes, I we've heard it before, but it's usually a gimmick or it's usually an afterthought. It's like, oh, we have this song, let's just throw a saxophone part on here. No, like I feel like they're writing specifically for that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that works really well for them. I know I got R- distracted by the fucking Splatoon music. I know, dude. This this music's wild. <laughs> Sorry, Jay, you can't hear it, but it's good. No, I think it's it's a cool album. I I enjoyed this a lot. I listened to it a lot. Um, mm-hmm. I, I tend to have it on repeat cause I was, there's parts where I'm like, I'm like, Oh, that I hear Seosin, you know, I'm hearing mm-hmm. voices from Seosin. I'm yeah. hearing parts from periphery that are, you know, from Scarlet and stuff like that. Like I'm hearing these really different pieces. I wouldn't normally expect to kind of hear together, but at the same time, it totally makes sense. It's like, Oh, it's like, Oh, this is, this is warp tour wrapped into one band. Yeah. You know, like all the, the good parts of it. Yeah, the, the vocalist really made me think, and I said this earlier too, uh, like a Pierce the Veil kind of thing. There's like a little bit of something mm-hmm. in that he's, he's voice. He's high up there, and yeah. He's high up yeah, there. Yeah, he's a higher register. Um, and then you said Sayosin, and I was like, yeah. Like there's something about it that's like, that's an emo vocalist, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure, you know? dude, for sure. And, and like I'm so hearing, well. mm-hmm. especially the, the intro of Gambit and what was the, the song after it? Libertad. Libertad, Libertad. yeah. Mm-hmm. that's kingdom hearts yep. yeah <laughs> like, yeah it's just kingdom hearts, and like man. the the sp- the spanish language tracks awesome oh, they're so cool they're yeah. so, so good cool. so it, i mean is, honestly even the the intros is so much fun the first two tracks like the, oh, the God, japanese yeah. like hey and then like <laughs> the little german yeah. bass bit yeah oh, and it's kind of you like know, but then you go metal. into yeah. the the hype metal stuff yeah it's kind of baby yeah, metal yeah. it's like oh this is so yeah. cool there's so many bright moments on here hey mm-hmm. is this technically a peruvian flute band brett Thoughts? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out if it's Midwestern emo or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> True. No, it's actually folk punk. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what I get mean. It, they got a big correct. old brass flute. I'm gonna fucking fight all of you. Come right. correct <laughs> or get corrected. Okay. <laughs> Do not come. Um, Dude, <laughs> tell the so truth, some, that, Cody. What are, what are <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh God, I wish I could. They won't listen though. We didn't, didn't listen. Stuff. <laughs> didn't listen. They're assaulters. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so what are some of y'all's favorite tracks on here? Yeah, so mine's Gambit. Yeah. I think uh, yeah, it comes Gambit's out of the good. the hype, the hype Japanese kind of thing, which I expected originally mm -hmm. because with you know noodles and the the image i have of them being like oh yeah they're like they love anime okay they love japanese and it's like the first track is literally japanese characters right, right. then we have a song in romanji all right so it is english words but it's definitely a japanese word okay and i'm like okay we're just gonna keep this going and then we get into gambit it's totally different totally yeah. change then we get into libertad you know like it just feels they don't give a shit and that's so cool. Like, yeah. like they're just going to write music right. that sounds good. But I going into it, expecting that based on my, you know, context, it hearing Gambit, I was like, wow, they're doing something different. They're not trying to be a gimmicky thing. They're not trying to hold on to a, a vibe that they had three years ago or whatever. They're not pigeonholing themselves. Yeah. Right. 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 So I that also, one's definitely I, my favorite. I actually, and, and here's is especially with this, the outro song with jealousy, this is where Buried Alive fucked up. He's trying so hard to do that over and over again and make mm. everything that. It's mm. like, no, dude, every once in a while, it's cool. And they yeah. do it just the one song. It's the outro. It's like, it's it's such a chill vibe. It's like, yo, we just went through this crazy roller coaster. Throughout yeah, trap metal. And then, yeah. and then like, let's, let's tone it down. Let's chill. Yeah. We'll have a peaceful outro out of here. And right. Like, well, it's, with, it's with fun. With Barry Live, they're definitely, he's definitely doing crazy stuff. And he's definitely a, a decent very musician. Very talented. Very oh, talented, right? The talent's there for sure. For sure. Yeah, we're not taking that away. But I think overall, we kept hearing single after single after single. It's like, what is, are we going to evolve at all? Um, it started getting very commonplace to me with that style. It's like, so he's going to like flick the switches and do the weird shit with the pedals. And it's like, okay, how long are we going to do this? And then we see more bands taking some of that and then like evolving because like mm -hmm. what their original stuff, uh, Shrezzers, it's diff this album's different. Like they literally sat down to write new music. Yeah, this well, is yeah, right. And they had plenty of time because the first single was their first song with the new singer with Diego came out September 25th, 2020. Right before or yeah, COVID times. Yeah, it was a right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We were opening Smack up. Smack dab in the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. So they've been slowly leaking this out for fucking ever. And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, it's releasing like next week. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know who's doing that right now too? Vela Maya. Who's that? Yep. Yeah. They, the, the same damn thing. Which is who's interesting it? because on track seven, Demure. There he is. There yeah, he is. Yeah. Which, yeah. Voc vocalist Lucas from uh, That's Vela crazy. Maya. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. A lot, a lot of cool shit going on. Yeah. A lot of cool shit. All right. Well, let's talk about some cringe shit. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Uh, feel, track 10. <laughs> yeah. Phil, Phil, Phil saying, Cody. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, wait. Christ. Brett, you never said your favorite song on here. Oh. And I never said mine either. Did we all agree? Same same song? I was, I was going to go Gambit, but then, yeah, you guys mentioned it before the show. I was like, okay. Libertad. And I'm like, and then we, start, we kept mentioning that. I was like, okay. Well, Tabadachi. Yeah, yeah. Twenty three is really good. Twenty three is really like, yeah. oh man, even even Massophobia. The they're the all song. really good. Yeah, Massophobia is real sick. They're really good, except I, track ten. I, I really like <laughs> Hangover. Like, I want Hangover to be long. Yeah, good. it's good, man. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, that's only like a, like, a minute and twenty seconds, just whatever. Like it's short, mm -hmm. Hangover. But the, like the whole middle section of the album, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I don't, I don't so know. yeah, let's talk about <laughs> Pornhub, and uh, not the site. The site. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pavern, Pavern. What? What? <laughs> Why did they do that? What the fuck is that? I mean, I no. Okay, you're, you're, I get I'll, it. I'm going to defend a part of it. I'm going to defend a okay. part of it. I I agree. Well, no, I, I don't agree. I understand why they made a ridiculous song, just like smack in the middle of this thing, be like, here's here's a fucking Pornhub song. Yeah, they they were like, we were too serious for the first nine songs. We're supposed to be a meme, remember? Pavern Herb. So like, I get it. Like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna rap in this one because it'd be funny as fuck. And it's like I, I get that. You know, it's, it's show me your booty hole from fucking Seosin. I get it. Right. I Don't, know. That's not on the album, though. <laughs> yeah. True. It's just a single, like <laughs> a stupid a little thing. 
Yeah, you know? and the fact that it's two two minutes and thirty seconds long. It's like, what the it's, fuck? It stops, and then like he just comes back to be like, it, it "Fuck stops, you!" It's like it does this whole bit. What? Ugh. Like fucking my core. Your total so... comes out to sixty nine, sixty nine. Which hey, great NSP reference. That's funny. Um, but stop, stop and, there. And then it's like, and then it's yeah. like, oh hey, there's a hole in my pocket, sir. You're touching yourself. Yeah, you want to like suck it? If I have got a microscope, suck my fucking dick soft. Like, <laughs> it's <laughs> so it's so cringy. It's so cringe. But this is why, like, when we were just watching the videos in the like our little before we get on to hype ourselves up part of the show that you don't get to see chat um it really like i was like man how have these guys like not caught in like caught a like a crime here or like a charge you know what i'm saying like, it is just like, a joke because it's you know, right right, right. Hey. but then they do stuff like that in this song and i was like damn it but like it's like people who are actually living that life like the attillas yeah <laughs> you know or the so ronnie they, are they making right? fun of them i kind of think so uh, what are you what are they doing I dude i want to say it's so i hope bad. so the fact that like Again, they're there. I mean, I'm not gonna say crypto bro. Every crypto bro out there is a fucking yeah. They are tools, but, bro. But, but but you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was like. You look at them and it's like, damn it, like we're gonna hear something oh, the, about them in a fucking week. And it's a like, half. Do, are you guys pro Andrew Tate? I don't. I'm confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm trying to look. Okay, hold on. I'm looking at the lyrics for this because I haven't been able to. It's like, yeah, is it satire? Like yeah, these have to do. It's risk. gotta be. It's gotta be satire. Because at one point they I say mean, we're all living in the metaverse. Them. Like, yeah, but there's like the Aiden Rosses of the world who are like, hell yeah, I believe this. Yeah, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the problem. You're, you're talking know, to man. morons. It's, it's fucking... I don't know. <laughs> Very like... weird to smack this like right in the and middle I hate of the album. <laughs> Brett, in the uh, it's like what, bro? <laughs> what is happening? Right. In the in the <laughs> chat right there, I put the lyrics yeah. for. We're, we're gonna analyze these lyrics real fast. Yeah, are you want me to pull them up here? Hold on. Yeah, we're we're, we're, we're getting to the bottom of this. Yeah, so like, is it's this the such same a thing? Left, it's... it is such a left field turn. Like I was right. walking, I was walking around last like to listen to the album this time, uh -huh. and like I'm like, I saw the the title on the track list and i was like oh that should be fun and then the drums kick in i'm like oh, okay that's pretty funny oh cool we're gonna do it again and then it starts and i'm like hey why did we go to msi all of a sudden you know yeah yeah it's very much a modern day msi song but like that's not this band so there has to be a point right, well. everything else on this album is fucking perfect what's going on here okay it's a slicky d bro slicky d said call me slick i I don't really know which way to go. Hey, uh, zoom in on, on your screen. But I hope you know for show sure this shit is addiction. Pay attention to the feeling you get when you're watching a flick of this dick. You know, they don't say that part. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's what it is. It's like, what is the yeah. fuck is going on? Yeah. There's like white boys trying to do something. Stop, bro. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Shit God. had me read. I never even stopped to get fed. What? So I don't care about his verse. I want to look at the, yeah, this next one, because I'm pretty sure this is a guy from Born of Osiris. Okay. So I try to push change, but the shit sells way too many men's brains. Make them insane. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's commentary. Maybe it's satire. All okay. right. Never change lanes or the way they think is tainted by a pussy getting maimed. Ha. Huh? Sex sells much a fuck. No, that's probably not right. Who's buying? Mocha Foca. Mocha Foca. That's my favorite a, uh, Starbucks flavor. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, Mocha Foca yeah, bullshit. I, I get a venti at that every day. <laughs> Chop these lines. I'm going to get some advice from the Mayans. Me versus the porn industry. Unbelievably horny. Yeah. I better not catch you denying. Let me start fun. Like, Where are we there's going? There's the charges. There's the Where, charges. There it is, dude. <laughs> Yeah, what that, are they doing? I I'm know. chop these lines. I'm gonna get some advice from the Mayans. What? <laughs> what kind of? I'm calling it eight years now. From now, porn addicts will be slaves to the metaverse. Okay. Oh, yeah. here's that outro part. <laughs> Suck it soft. <laughs> I don't know. Release this by itself. <laughs> don't put it on the album. Re-record noodles. Re -record don't even light. You can post just it on the fucking off. YouTube. Just, just don't this... even promote it. Don't even promote it. Just again, say who's saying this shit. 
We just happened yeah. to find it. You know, it, that was back in the, the days where the internet was a baby. Like <laughs> yeah. we, we, we couldn't find, you couldn't get shit. How did we find that? Oh no, that's so cap, Joe. No, I just, I just don't know why it's there. Um, you know, issues on their last album <sighs> had flexing, and that was a weird one. But like, that, that's it's more like, of an R and B band anyway. So that one. But, here, more but here's sense, the but... here's the thing though. Like, you look at bands that we make fun of all the time, the Attilas of the world, right? Mm-hmm. Those these yep. fucking blood on the dance bag, floor, yeah. Ronnie Rackett. right? Yeah, these assholes that <laughs> are literally catching charges left and right. Doing weird shit, selling shit that they never actually get. You know, it's just bad, right? You guys and know a good uh, iMac plug. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Johnny Craig, right? Johnny Craig, yeah, yeah. It's like the the company you keep, right? And it's like I don't think these guys want this com- that company. They don't want to hang out with them. But like you're hanging out with the Bone of Osiris guy, which he kind of like rides the line. Like that band rides the line of like, okay, is it weird or is it? Are they being serious? I don't well, know. what the fuck is this? I just, I just think there's, there's too many, <laughs> like, there's too many dots that go all over the place in this band as of right now that we know. Yeah, it's like don't you don't know, start hanging out with those guys. Just make I, your fucking music, okay? I, I'm just, I'm, I'm don't too, hang out with. I have more them. questions after listening to things than I have answers. The it's rest of the album, dumb. Why would I wouldn't Great. have questioned a damn so, thing if that if that song? Yeah, been. <laughs> thirteen tracks would have been a fuck enough. Would have been would have been great. <laughs> yep, right at forty five minutes would have been perfect. I don't. Yeah, it's it's just so out of nowhere. Like I kind of respect it's, it. I kind of you because know, it's. I find I it mean, funny. Ballsy. It is. It's funny. very funny. And I'm I'm totally cool with like let's let's push things for a second just to right. see what happens. You know. But damn. But it, just, it just doesn't sound there's not even a breakdown or saxophone no, it right. sounds nothing like the rest of the album it makes no. no sense well, this is, it doesn't yeah. fit man just put it out by itself and then the fine. songs around it, it are, are, are all all those songs fit with each other yeah, yeah. it goes right back like, into it with like it just feels, it feels right so weird. Players, players is pretty good yeah 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 and then you got the weird numbers in that track as well <laughs> like you're doing something weird with the the title right like that's enough like that's you, enough. you don't you don't have to do like this is the thing we don't know this they band enough called that song to think. Hub. i don't care it's this the yeah like, I don't is, give a shit. this song is weird man. <laughs> yeah but like, I, I don't, like we I don't, don't know. know this band well enough to i think judge them on whether or not they're they're actually about that life with slicky d right we don't know but i think no but if you say tilly and pearson things people are sure. gonna think straight to jail you know? right you know like sure everyone has their chance but like just, just stop don't put your the bands need to start learning and this is a psa for all of y'all out there oh wait hold on let me get full screen for you <laughs> get zoom the fuck in there okay listen y'all want a career stop doing weird shit because it's gonna bite you in the fucking ass all right and it will happen don't do weird shit please just make your music i know weirdness sells but Integrity. But, who, but who's Please. buying? But who's Jesus buying? Christ. Fucking A. Zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Good uh, God. Yeah, I don't know. Perplexing. <laughs> Perplexing decision all around. I got to think it's tongue in cheek or satire or something, right? Right. I, hope. I don't know. I don't know. What's what that? I do know is. Is that the next segment's called View Skewed and Reviewed, and it's also right. Josh's favorite segment. Uh, right. And if we had any real sponsors, this is where the ad break would go right before this part. But alas, we do not. Hello Please, Fresh? We need, yeah, Hello Fresh, uh, DoorDash, uh, NordVPN. No, they have lead no. in their drinks. So no, remember, uh, I forgot. No, I'll, give, like, I'll sell it. I'm I forgot. Ready. That that dumb shit company that we were looking at last week, or, or whoever scored badly for uh, Thrice. We're like, hey, they're getting, scene they're getting point fucking. Blank? Was oh, it scene, scene yeah, the, the, the yeah, dot yeah, net yeah. ones or whatever. Yeah, it's like they have sponsors. Who are those sponsors? <laughs> yeah, come uh, hang out on AdSense. our channel. Yeah. Give me the money. Yeah, got this weird ass website no one goes to. Fucking a. <laughs> we well, have a weird ass those... website nobody goes to. Yeah, <laughs> it's we, not a website. We could do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, pay, we ain't got no money for Squarespace. I'll make and it I'd Adobe argue Express. We're the most accurate. <laughs> we are. You get everything here. You get memes. You get uh, you get the app, the whole internet average score. You know, you, you, you get, get our uh, score. career advice. Yeah, you Co- get, career you get advice. great career advice here. You, you learn about shit. dogs shitting on ice. You know, you get it that's, all. That's true. That's true. 
Anyway, so View Scooter Review, the podcast within a podcast. Uh, only three websites and one YouTube review this time. Not a whole lot. Wow. Uh, so going to be very quick. Rate your music, 6.14. Sputnik, 6.6. And Album of the Year, 6.3. Yeah, and on they, YouTube, got the, they got the track 10. Stop. That's probably why. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And on, uh, on YouTube, Among the Fence, hello, 8.1. Nice. That makes more sense. Yeah, I agree. that makes way more sense. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and I feel like these other websites or zines well, or whatever the hell. All they three of those probably... are all user based scores. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, so the, probably a lot of them, I would say things are like as a as a whole composition, does it work? And sometimes one song can fuck it up. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's unfortunate. All right. So last week the internet won. Who's gonna win this week, Brett? Josh, whoever cool. wants to shoot out a number, let me. Know. I'm doing it for the the meme of all memes. Six point nine. I mean, if this is if, six point nine, six point nine, albums suck to it get soft that or whatever score. the guy says in that fucking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sir, your total is six point nine. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna go with a seven. Point, I don't fuck six point nine nine just because. There it is. The ultimate six uh, six point nine nine six just a really <laughs> Dude, really yeah specific. go one more decimal point. <laughs> All right, you both, have, you both have gone over. It is oh six point seven nine close. Oh, it's actually not too far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, and Josh, I, I, closer though. I don't know. It, it does make it. I, I feel it sometimes, but I think with the scores added up and some of our categories, I could see where some of the discrepancy is okay i can yeah. understand that it could be a six for some people yeah okay or I get a zero it. i saw a fucking it straight is... up zero. Oh shit i don't Someone know about called this the most generic gent of all time and i said that's so cap joe uh-uh that's, that's so tra- yeah that's yeah i that's... mean if you're L. at least say it's yeah. mid i'll take okay i'll take mad the, it is a chaotic <laughs> album it's chaotic it's yeah. all over the place i will mm-hmm. i'll agree to that one yeah so, but that's also kind of the point. That's kind of the point, though. Yeah, like it's just a genre, I feel like. It's like that place they're sitting in. I mean, people, there's times that we listen to stuff with by Polyphia, and it's like, this is fucking whack. Like, things are going all over the place. Mm-hmm. It's really hard to follow. Mm-hmm. But, like, it is, this definitely is a musician's music. Okay? Like, you gotta be a li- nerd. You gotta, gotta kind of like that. It's, you're not just easy listening, be listening to this. I right. think because of how pretty the vocals are, and they are very pretty, and they're all 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 of them are very pretty boys too. I'll mm. be yep. the first to admit it. Uh, I think because of that, and because of the saxophone, you could get away with playing this for just regular people, and they'd be like, "Oh, this is pretty cool." Oh, yeah. Just don't play Pornhub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe there's more. There's more tame songs Skip on the one. album. I think some of those tracks that have like hard vocal might be kind of hard to sell to a normie, but there are some tracks that are just kind of. This is really nice music being played right here. There's like a nice, I don't know, R&B break with the saxophone. Like it works. Yeah. Um, but yeah, want to get into our categories then? Sure. Brett, you want to start us off? <clears throat> sure, I can. Go for it. All right. Say so songwriting and lyrics. Well, they're there. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's chaotic. There's a song that we keep talking about that is so... Hurts the score. Outlandish. It it's going to do things. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, man. I'm probably going to for also that meme. I'll probably just do the six point nine. Because mm. yeah. I do I do like the rest of the songs. It's just it's just damn, dude. That song. Yeah, you have to include everything you know, in your got you know, into account. Got to got to bring it, it all. Musicianship. Yep. Oh, dude, that's a that's dude. a ten. That's yeah, a ten, my guy. Yeah. Like, what do, what do you want? They do everything. <laughs> so good. We keep talking about like the saxophone and stuff. The saxophone's doing the cool stuff. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's cool. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome. The production, as as mind boggling as it is, that this is one dude, and I st- I just still don't understand how any of this was actually put together at that point. For real. I'll probably give it a ten. It sounds amazing mm-hmm. in every single thing that I've heard. The you know speakers, headphones, car, all that stuff. It sounds amazing at any volume. Yep. Sounds perfect. A lot of good, good layers in here. Great layers. It's just it's just mm-hmm. very well balanced. It's a well balanced mm-hmm. album. Um, originality. I don't know. I don't know. 
I think for I right now, same. I think right now I'm going to give it a seven. And if if I can get persuaded, then perhaps it'll go up or down. Because it's I I you know it's treasures. It's like oh this is cool. I can I can yeah. definitely point this out. But at the same time, I've heard everything Wait. before. <laughs> right. You've you've heard Polyphia or or Periphery. Or say it's in, you know, you've heard somewhere, one of those Somewhere ones. it's in here. Mm-hmm. It's in there. Yep. The memorability. Mm. Oof. I'm going to say it's 7.5. The reason okay. being is because I do remember quite a few songs, and I remember one more than I want to. And But the, it does blend a little bit because of how chaotic it is. It's hard to stick with it. You know, I, I'll yeah. zone out for a second and be like, oh, shit. Oh, that's right. We were listening. Um, so I did that a lot, mm. uh, but overall, okay. my score. Oh, this is this is probably my most different numbered score. This is an okay. eight point two eight. Solid, solid. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, Brett, I'm kind of with you on a lot mm-hmm. of it, and I said this kind of in the beginning of the of the show as well. Musicianship production did a lot for this album. Oh yeah, it did a lot. Um, Paul was, a, was going to. This was a second, yeah. a sophomore album for them, right? So second yeah. album, they still First have room with a to new grow. singer, right? So it's basically fresh. They're coming in fresh. They only got one producer, right? They're doing everything themselves. It's it, it's an anomaly, okay? It's weird, but with that said, right? The musicianship and production saved the shit out of this album because looking at my songwriting and lyrics. There's words. There's a couple of catchy lines that I think I could remember if I started listening to it more, but it is kind of uh, they're they're just there as as an instrument. The vocals yeah. are. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what the songs are about. I don't really care. I think the best songs are the ones I can't understand. <laughs> uh, um, so I said seven point six because oh, I know they're man. doing something. They're trying to say something, but it's not really sticking with me as I think it would. But I know it's working well in the, in the songwriting as a whole. So it's not a bad score. It's not a good score. Musicianship ten. They're they're they are killing it. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything that's out of place. Like I said, the saxophone fits where it needs to fit. They're writing with the saxophone, not hey, we wrote a song. Let's add one on top. It actually matters um, besides the one weird one and like the shorter songs. I think the compositions work really well. So then production 9.4, it would have been higher if it didn't have Pornhub and, and <laughs> like the, the, the intro. Cause like it was kind of useless it and then useless. and it's, hangover, it's even though it's it is long. even, yeah, even though hangover is nice to listen to, it kind of, it's a weird why is it so short? Like, do something with, I don't know. It's not a perfect production, but it sounds great, like you were saying. Um, so I said 9.4 there. Um, originality, this is, I was having a hard time here too, because it really does sound like all the other bands we've been talking about. It is generic in that sense of genre, but I think they bring enough original aspects to it with the saxophone, um, with some of the riffage. It's a little newer. Um, but it is very similar to the genre. So I said eight. So it's kind of B. Oh, you're higher than you. I am on that one. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I, I usually hate saxophone because I, it became gimmicky. And because it didn't, that's where I'm giving it to them there. Um, then memorability, kind of same place, 7.5. I don't really remember too much of it. I remember the negative part the most. <laughs> and and um, that's never good. But, but I no. do, the songs I do like, I do remember Gambit's awesome. Has a really cool saxophone bar. I keep talking about it. The bridge is amazing. And then uh, Libertad, Temperatura, um, they're cool. They're really cool. Um, and I don't understand any of the language. <laughs> right, right. But I don't care. It's cool. They're really cool. Uh, and it brings a little bit of, I don't know, something memorable, something original, because now the, the vocalist is from Peru. So you have a little something from, from him, from Diego now. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, all together, weirdly, I have a really solid um, score here, 8.5. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, okay. no extra, extra decimals, no nothing. It's just right Josh, on that. Josh, another album where you got a higher yeah. score than me. Yeah. Wow. That's wild. The times they are changing. He's moving down south, and it's a whole new Josh, you know? Right. Oh, just wait. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get sweaty. I'm going to get mad. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's too cold. He's too hot. There's just no fixing yeah. it. Yeah. No. <laughs> 
just want to die. Hey, I don't blame you. <laughs> um, no, it's it's fair. Right. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> fair enough. Fair, fair enough. enough. All right. So, all right, Cody. Save okay, it or right. or bury it. I don't know. Well, have... no, we're we're all pretty much around the same. Really? Uh, yeah. No, surprisingly nice so. Nice too. Yeah. Um, songwriting and lyrics. I agree. Not a. I mean, I know there's stuff going on. But yeah. it does all blend. Brett or Josh, one of y'all said it. It's more of an instrument, and I agree. Um, kind of the same thing, like a home team or something like that. Like you're not really paying t- too much attention to what's being said so much as the melodies. And mm-hmm. the melodies are really good. Again, he uh, Diego's got a very pretty voice. Um, I would have given it higher had it not been for the lyrics and porn up. I'm sorry, I can't. So eight point two. <laughs> Um, okay. Still high, but yeah, it, still it probably would have been a nine point two otherwise. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, just because the song structure itself very good. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, the writing part. <laughs> yeah, the writing part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, awesome breakdowns, awesome saxophone playing. Everything, everything about it. It's just that one song. Don't need it. Uh, musicianship ten. You guys already said it. I don't need to go but too much more into it. Like they took. This is what I want in metal. I want more creative usage of different instruments. You know, we got Bollywood. Bollywood doing you know the folk metal stuff. Uh, there's n- nothing wrong with India. I'm sorry, uh, second most <laughs> spoken English language place in the world. Uh, I know. I'm an expert. Nothing's now. wrong with Thank the government you. or religion nope. there. Nope, that's so capcho. Um, yeah, musicianship. It, it's out of this world. Out of this world. Um, production gave it a 9.23 would have given it a 10 but the guy could have been like hey uh let's not put this one song on there and for that they're going to get some docked points right god feel that could have been a very easily that, you handled know, in the studio that's a fucking b-side bro. you know get you guys both brought the... that up and i didn't think about that when i was doing my score for it i'm gonna leave my score for now Mm-hmm. Just see where everything Just, sits. I want to see where everything sits first, but yeah, but that could I could dock a point for that. But on the other hand, which is this one, um, <laughs> think about it this way: we're we're giving it such high marks for the rest of it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that the fact that that one song is there, like I don't know if that hurts it or helps it, you know, because the rest of it's fucking great, fucking great. Um, originality 8.3 we've had saxophone yeah. and metal so it's not the newest thing but everything that they put together I, Brett you uh, you were mostly there I think you have all these influences you have all these other bands that you're hearing but you've never heard it packaged this way in one product and it's very exciting that this is like we're getting stuff like this, you know. No, I like, yeah, I do. I I like this a lot because of so, those reasons. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. So eight point three four and the memorability right there with you guys seven point six four. Um, it does all kind of blend together, but not in a bad way. It's, I think this is another one of those you put it on late at night and you drive mm-hmm. songs or. Conversely, you go walk around Let Us Lake Park in the middle of the day and just kind of enjoy nature while listening to a saxophone go over a breakdown. It's pretty cool. I highly suggest it. Um, <laughs> you could choose whatever park you want, but, you know, be in nature. You know, get some... Uh, nature. Sure, Yoku. Some forest mm-hmm. bathing. Anyway, so 7.64. <laughs> Bring in my total to an 8.68. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All okay. right. Brett, would you like to amend your score? I don't know. It's all pretty close. I, I since I'm the lowest one still, it's fine. I'll leave it. Okay. Because I yeah, if I wasn't the lowest, you, would, you one, wouldn't I, go I up, have... would you? Probably not. No, I wasn't going to go. No, I was going to go down. Yeah, more. yeah. I was thinking <laughs> I could I could probably go down a little bit, but like thinking about some of the packaging and and I don't know. I think it's fine where it is. It's fine. I did fine. I did enjoy it. I didn't hate anything. I think we're also just trashing on that song so hard that it's. Right, it's it's yeah. had its time. Just pretend it's not there and just call it a day. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yep. Uh, here's what you do: you either it comes on and you're like, "Ha ha, Pornhub drops, skip," and you move on. And it's fine. Or Blah. you're listening. You're listen, it. You you're listening to it with someone else, and you sit there and wait. Yep. And then <laughs> just, you just watch just, the reaction happen. Don't say a word. Just be like, 
<laughs> this is something, isn't it? It's Just like watch. the other. Yeah. It's like uh, last Thursday when I was outside of O'Brien's until 4.30 because Joe locked the keys in the van. Uh, so I just put fuck face on and for whatever reason, weirdest episode to just fucking have playing. They're just talking about the smell of farts versus the smell of piss and okay. and burps. Okay. And, I, and Joe was just like, well, what's this? And I was like, hey, this is this, a weird one. I'm this sorry. This is your fault. Who uh, did this? I uh, know. Yeah. Oh, no. You put us in this situation. <laughs> Last night I was out until four because the owner got high and was just talking for an hour and a half. And I'm just See, sitting there falling I... asleep on the van window. And I'm like, can I? I walk up and I say, hey, we're leaving. Can I go home? Can yeah. Go home? Time yeah. to leave. I don't ask. Anywho. I tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Uh, there's, no, there's no asking involved. <laughs> Over to the monolith of Mosh. Whoa. It looks Is it so well? different. It does it look different. Well. It looks really? a little different. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. First question: Is it breaking the top twenty-five? Yes or no? Honestly, I was gonna say no, but we have a, a an eight two eight and eight eight five, five eight two and eight six. Yep. Eight. Okay. Oh man. Honestly. Oof. It might. It mm-hmm. might. I don't think it will. Okay. I don't think it will. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit because it's not gonna be in top ten. That's we can verify that. No, I think it's gonna be twenty to twenty-five. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be an ass. I'm gonna say it's thirty. I'm gonna be right right above Dane's cabin dance. Oh, okay, it's, okay. It's, it's kind of similar stuff. Brett says thirty. Josh, what about you? Yeah, I think twenty-four. Twenty-four. So you Josh. do think top twenty-five? Mm-hmm. Think... No. No way. Yep. I'm a, f- I'm a wow. fucking genius. Dude, he, he took that time off and he learned some math. He okay. did. I did. Got some tutoring. Sex and sex. Damn. Ugh, I'm so caps, good. <laughs> All right, but the game's not over yet. Now, Brett, you won right. last week. So, I did. Josh, you get to go first. This is not going to be a tie. Seven. It's going to sit in the middle. Eight, saying eight point four eight four eight. All right, Brad. What about you? I want chaos. I want. I want it to tie with periphery, just because of how ironic that would be. Well, it wouldn't tie with periphery. I would have put it below. True. Okay. True. Damn it. All right. I well, mean, then, some more chaos. Those, the- I want a cha- I want chaos in here. I want. I want a tie. Miss me. It's tying with Miss Me. It's a four nine. Brett, you got it. It is a four nine. Okay, it is time. chaos. I need chaos. So here chaos. we go. Here chaos. we go. We got better, now. We... Better bring up that that fucking clip, Brett. <laughs> right there. Chaos. 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 Okay, chaos. so now we got to vote. <laughs> I'll bring up a bunch of them. Um, it stays where it is. He, he, okay. Uh, it's it's <laughs> in Bold my statement. point of view as well. It's staying where it is. <laughs> uh, well, let's go through for for. But let's go through. Yeah, let's let's just okay. do it. songwriting and lyrics. That's Miss May I. Miss May I. Right. Um, Musicianship. Musicianship. They're pretty similar, but I think the when, style when for Shrezzers. Yeah. So the, I don't think we gave straight tens for Miss May I. No. I think they both can rip, right? Miss May I can rip. Miss May I can I think rip. They're not, it's not the same genre, and prog rips. Okay. So and got, it is and what saxophone, it is. saxophone, brother. And saxophone. Sax. So there's a right, point there. Shrez. All right. Uh, one of one. Production. Now, because I still don't believe that one dude did all of it, and I don't understand this. This whole album doesn't make sense to me. They sound very similar. They sound, I, oh, I, man, it's, it's kind of a tie there. I think tie for now. Yeah, can we come back to it? Yeah, we'll come back to it. Originality. Oh, miss may I? I uh, now, hear me out. now hear me out because of know. because of OG purposes because mm-hmm. of OG. Oh, uh, they right. helped they, create that sound. The they modern not, metalcore. Yeah, they didn't. Evolve the sound now. Shrezzers is evolving the sound for sure, but they did not create the sound. Right. Okay. And yeah, when I when I talk about Miss May I, I don't say, "Hey, it sounds like thirteen other bands." No, you sound it's like Miss May, May, May I, and yeah. other bands sound like Miss May I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I think the point goes Fair there point. for me. Okay, I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then memorability. <laughs> Shrezzers loses for. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I... also the meme makes you remember. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that is the tough. name makes you remember. At the moment, at this exact moment, I'm going to have to say Shrezzers because I do remember a lot of Miss May. I cannot remember the whole album off the top of my head. As of, I I this, do this listen to that album more. So I do. I mean, obviously, this one just came though. out. Yeah, I do like listening to it. I will go back to it. Mm-hmm. I probably will not go back to Shrezzer's al- top a couple to bottom of songs. album. No, not a top to bottom album, but yeah. a few songs for sure. <clears throat> it's one of those, if you have it on a playlist and it comes up and shuffle, it it's ain't, fine. It, yeah, it, yeah, it ain't getting it's not scared, a, It's so. not a, I want to listen to this album. No. Now, Miss see, May I, I will do that. I'm going to pick Miss May I because I would, thinking about it, yeah, I listened to it a lot, and I did listen to it a lot. Okay. I'm going to go there. Um, so Cody. So here's what I'm doing. I'm looking at the album for Miss May I, and I'm trying to remember any parts of these songs. And I just, off the top of my head, I just can't. That's that's my issue. Like I know once I hear it, I'm gonna be like, oh, that's blah 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 blah. Right. Yeah. As of this second, though, I just I just can't. I mean, that's a, that is a very good point. I I could I could change my answer to that just because I do think about this, these sax solos, but it's the most present. So it's obviously going to be in the forefront. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that's also the selling point. That's the whole point. Yeah. That's the point too. Yeah. If they didn't have the saxophone, this band would just disappear. Yeah. It would just be another band. Yeah. The saxophones gives it that little extra. It would be fucking 2012 fucking Polyphia. I think I'm going to have to go with charges for memorability. Okay. All right. So what's our score right now? Two to two. Yep, so we got to go to production. So and production since it's, it's a tie, Brett, finale. bring up the wall. Well, the wall's the, been the wheel. Oh, yeah, the, the wheel. wheel. The wheel. Mm-hmm. Put the, the wheel lid. on the wall. The, the, the lid. lid. The lid. The, what? It's a, it's a game of the chance. Lid. Beatrice. It's a game of chance. Gabriel. Allie. Oh, uh, Earls. I forgot. We haven't used this computer yet. Oh, shit. Log in. Everyone, chat. There it is. This, is, this is it. Oh, no, no, okay. no. We want wheel of idiots. Just so I can see it say it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Miss May I versus Treasures. Miss May I versus Treasures. It all comes down to this. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. RNG. What it is. Thanks, guys. I would have been and very you know upset. What? <laughs> I agree. I would have, I would have fought someone. Oops. Oh yeah, no, we're good. I think it's fine where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Twenty four. It's fine. Twenty four. I can't that's believe we got top twenty five though. Yeah. That's wild. Dude, it's that's just the power of the saxophone. It would have been higher had it not been for that one song. If it, yeah, that would have been mm-hmm. up there. It would have been. If they would have held on to their little more seriousness, perhaps it would have been above uh, Polyphia. I bet. Oh, easy. Same, s- similar nice. sound, similar music. Same mm-hmm. thing with Periphery, mm-hmm. in a sense, right? Sorry, you get beat up by the OG metal course. Even Bill Murray suck a there. dick. I was thinking that like, it could go all the way up there, too. And I was like, but but because we had so many grievances with some parts of it, I don't think it can we push. Talked, and we it, talked about and, that so and much. And even then, it's the one song, and we're not even really shitting on it that hard. It's just a weird choice. It's just and stupid. Song. It's it, it comparatively. Was a, it was a bull choice cotton. Let's see if it pays off. No, it did not. Um, but you know right. what? Uh, yeah, the us. whole album was like that. Yeah, it's what it is. But it wasn't, and it's weird. But it wasn't. Yeah. Okay. All Brett, right. What so you Brett, got? You got Hello. you got the next pick. I do. So give me give me just a second. Yeah. Try to. Because I know there's there's one. You got a theme there's, going. There's two. Not really. Yeah, not really. Yeah. yeah, I've been sticking to like anniversary picks and like new stuff. That's what I've been doing. I have a mix right now out of these. I have three so far, and it is a mix of new and old. Okay. 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 Many hours later. All right, guys. Ready? Shuffle, 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 yep. shuffle, 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 shuffle. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. We are doing. Whoa, 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 and... whoa. Wait, 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 oh, yes, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Whoa. Let me. I've almost Do it correct. Do it correct. Almost fucked that up. So, number four. Bitch. Number four was going to be that Currents album from 2020. Okay. Okay. Oh, so good. Because it's so good. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Number 
number one was going to be the the album I keep talking about all the time with the the White Man's Fears new album. Okay. 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 So I love it. I love Eventually. it so much. Can't it'll wait. Get, it'll get in there. Can't wait. Number two was going to be Roots Above, Branches Below Ooh. from Prada. Oh. Because I listened to it the other okay. day because I was talking to Metalcore Cowboy on on Twitter and he's like, I'm I know really a ghost. Li-. And he, mm-hmm. he he never really listened to Pronto before. I was like, oh, this is classic. It's the only one you need to listen to. It's the only one. <laughs> the album we went with is an album okay. that I listened to about a week ago. It's a re-recording because we were mentioning the re-recordings. And I was like, you know what? Here's this one. Mm-hmm. I haven't actually listened to it. And let's see what it stands up to. It is the re-recording of Enemy of the World. Oh. For oh, yeah. Strong. For You Strong. Yeah. Or have we done yeah. Enemy of the World? We have. So should I pick a different one? Uh, it's a re-recording, and I just it popped up, so I was I put it on there. I didn't think it was actually going to land on it. Uh, it oh, we did do that, didn't we? we? Can, yeah, thought... we can pick a different one. Uh, I have I another would... album. You know what? You know what? Here, I'll put. The... We'll re we'll redo the, the thing. We'll redo the whole thing. Okay. We'll redo the thing. Okay. All right, so I we'll have four albums. <laughs> 41 okay. now. That, was, that just got bumped out of the top 40. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it sounds kind of shitty. All right, so number two. Okay. Number two, because I just switched it up. Uh-huh. Fuck, what was number two? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just go with the album I keep talking about it constantly, because I keep talking about it constantly. Let's go with... It's a new one, right? It's the new one. It's yes, okay. the Wise Man's Fears newest okay. album. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. (laughs) Atlas. I think that's what that was your number two anyway. I think that was number two anyways. So what was what was the new one you threw on? Edit it. The new one I was going to throw on there was uh, Attack Attack's second album. Oh, oh. come on. Because I listened to it the other day, and I was like, oh, that'd be a fun one. <laughs> oh, man. Probably sounds like ass. It sounds pretty good. Really? Yep. Wow. It's, uh, the quality, the production's still there. It's a little bland on the, on the um, riffage. Uh-huh. You know, it's a little, it's a little old school. Okay. But it's it's not as it's not near as cringe as you you would think it would be. Wow! After fifteen years, <laughs> well, keep it in mind because it might be something to re, you know go back yeah. to. Yo, if Josh yeah, is saying it. that, yeah, we listen to that shit all the time. Okay, we sure did. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not what we're doing. Though. We're doing the Wise no. Man's Fear Atlas Ruinica. Yeah, nice. I actually haven't listened to this. I love it so properly. Much. Yeah, ever since you've been telling me, like I've been thinking about it. I hear a, a single or two, but I don't like get into it. No, and I, so I, I am interested. I figured we'd do it eventually. So mm-hmm. here we are. Here we okay. are. Sounds good. Yeah. Cool. Now, do you think we need to to listen to the first one before getting into this one? No. Okay, so they're not this is concepts in that way. No. Okay. Standalone. I know they 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 do some concept stuff. So Cody, you might enjoy some of that. This is a story. But it's not. This it's is not a story album to album. It's an individual. Hmm. That's Space. good. Okay. Space. Space this time. Space Interesting. This time. Star so no flutes? No no flute metal? No, you get like this weird Star Wars thing going on. Oh, <laughs> the, the hoop band. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. You get that out of nowhere. <laughs> well, all right. All right. I'm well, down. Awesome. We'll see mm. if you're here, Josh, but we don't know. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. Um... Because he's moving. I yeah, when are, yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you in a second. Tuesday, Wednesday. So, okay. fellas, ladies, everybody in the club, there, everybody in the club. Uh, if you liked what you saw, if you made it this far, yeah. give it a like, give it a sub, tell your friends. Hey, also on, on Spotify, I like seeing that number. Yeah, it's really cool. cool. Um, I like now sorry, having to care about Spotify. Yeah, sorry, this was a very shorts, measly episode. TikTok, That's an interesting one. All the things. So, we have an Instagram too that I keep getting fucking yeah, notifications Cody, you're for. You're active on that shit. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit, yeah, you're on that on that I'm shit trying. all day long. Go there too, everybody. <laughs> all right. 
So, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Man, everything. I'm not, but I'll robot for a second. There. I'll deal with it. Ooh, my, my. You guys, you guys look robot. We, the audio is still fine, but you went look, robot for me. Yeah. Y'all are robots to me. I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We all just bunch all, of robots. All right. I, so, so what you're saying is Discord's having some things. I believe it. Oh, oh no yeah, you guys are you guys are like fucking 12 oh, FPS. Yeah, dude. Um.